Both acid reflux and heartburn are common digestive conditions that many people experience from time to time. But what happens when it's more than just a nuisance? How do you know when your condition is serious and then what do you do about it? For this week's Take Action Thursday, Dr. Naraj Shani, Chief of Gastroenterology at GBMC is joining us. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so you hear reflux, heartburn, GERD. Are they all the same thing? Are they different? Walk sure. us through that. So yes, yeah, so reflux, uh, heartburn is sort of the generic term. Okay. Uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD is really the medical term. Got it. But it really refers to the same disease process. What is happening? Because a lot of people have it and some worse than others. And so I want to see what the distinction is there. Sure. So it's really uh, what happens is you have a muscle at the bottom of the esophagus. And when that muscle is a little bit too loose or not tightening properly, um, the gastric contents, the stuff that's in your stomach, essentially comes back up into the esophagus, and that causes that feeling of burning or pain or discomfort, um, and we can talk about other symptoms. Why does it happen for us? Some people, every time they eat, they go through this. Other people, I never had heartburn at all until I got pregnant. Sure. <laughs> and, and then I was like, oh, this is what people experience. Right. Why do, why do some people never experience that? So some people just because obviously their muscles working well, it's not relaxing too much. Okay. Um, it also has to do with uh, different things with the hiatal hernia, if you've heard that term, mm -hmm. where part of the stomach has come up into the chest. Um, the reason uh, during pregnancy many women experience uh, severe reflux is because there's pressure now on the stomach um, from the fetus mm -hmm. uh, and the uterus enlarging and that, that thereby leads to also increased reflux. Are there things that you can do to prevent getting this? Are there foods you shouldn't eat? Or Sure. So we always say the foods you love are unfortunately the ones that cause reflux, right. particularly caffeine, chocolate, alcohol. <laughs> You're killing me, doctor. Come uh, on now. <laughs> and, uh, and sort of the rich, heavy foods. Okay. And really, it's, a, it's an issue of the quantity of food also we eat at one time. So, <clears throat> is it, when does it get beyond that, beyond what you can eat to control it when you need to have a doctor step in and say, okay, we need to take some other measures? Sure. So if you're having chronic symptoms, um, obviously many of us will have occasional reflux if, depending on what we've eaten. But when it's leading to chronic reflux, chronic discomfort, uh, trouble swallowing, and other manifestations such as hoarseness mm -hmm. or even asthma. Wow. All right. Well, we're going to get you to stick around and answer some questions. We are back with Dr. Nerej, Nerej, say your name. Nerej. I said that. Okay, Johnny with Dr. with uh, GBMC, and he is taking your calls about digestive diseases for our Take Action Thursday. So if you have questions, our phone lines are open right now, 410-481-4545. You can, of course, send us a tweet or go through our Facebook page as well. We do have a caller on the line. We have Keisha from Baltimore. Hi, Keisha. Hello. What's your question? Um, I wanted to know, is it is it too much of a difference between heartburn and acid reflux? Which one is more severe? So heartburn is that sort of occasional symptom um, where you may get a little burning in your uh, chest or lower, uh, lower chest, um, sour taste in the mouth, whereas reflux is really more of the chronic condition of frequent heartburn. All right. Hopefully that helps you, Keisha. Let's go to our Facebook page because we had a lot of people that wrote in. Uh, one of them said, I have this knot. This is coming from Sherry. She says, I have this knot pressure feeling in my chest that only really started after I had my upper GI done. What else could it be? So in upper GI, she may be referring to either a radiographic test where we actually have patients swallow a uh, barium. Okay. Um, and they see about reflux and whether there's reflux of the barium back into the esophagus or uh, she may be referring to an upper endoscopy. But really it may be pressure or gas that gets trapped in the upper esophagus or, or even lower esophagus causing this significant pressure. That does not sound like fun. All right, really quickly, one more. Debbie says, I complained I had this feeling. Doctor said acid reflux. It kept getting worse. I could get no relief. Luckily, I got a second opinion. Was not reflux. What I needed was a triple bypass. Right. That's so a huge is, difference. This is an excellent question because this is the biggest distinction we uh, initially need to make is that often a, a heart attack, um, <laughs> you know, patients may be told, oh, no, it's just acid reflux. So we always want to rule out the cardiac event or cardiac source first, and then often we are seeing patients with what we call non-cardiac chest pain. All right, be sure to ask about that. Dr. Johnny, thank you so much for All coming right, in. Thank Appreciate you. it.